so in, early in Reagan's first term, uh, a plague is the winter. Winter of 1981, or I'm not sure, 82 maybe, winter, January 81 or January 82. The plane took off, it was not properly de-iced. It was not properly de-iced, and the engine stalled and it crashed into the Potomac River. But it landed on the 14th Street Bridge, and unfortunately, um, unfortunately, it killed a few people on the bridge. But then um, a few people were rescued. I don't remember how many were killed, how many were rescued. But there was this civil servant who worked for the federal government. His name was Lenny Skutnik, and he jumped into the Potomac River's frigid waters. Really, it was it was, it was like ice water, cold, and he saved some people. Uh, the guy jumped from the 14th Street Bridge into the icy Potomac and rescued a couple of people, or one woman, I think, who couldn't get her hands on the ropes. The, the, the helicopters were trying to rescue the people in the, in the water, and he saved the woman. And then he was featured in Reagan's State of the Union address. And since then, uh, if you know, when you watch the State of the Union, uh, there's a, like a box of stairs, not where the senators and the congressmen are sitting, where like the first lady will sit and other sp special guests will sit. Since then, there's been this tradition of having somebody that's done something heroic or something, you know, uh, wonderful or that the president wants to, um, you know, pay a tribute to, sit in the box. Um, and, and that began, that tradition began with Lady Skutnik, the man, the civil servant who jumped into the Potomac's icy waters to save a woman after the plane crashed under the 14th Street Bridge. So, um, it's a nice tradition and it started with Lady Skutnik. And it's called the Skutniks, the people who are, who sit in the box in the State of the Union and are acknowledged by the President for some service to the country.